Hey everyone, it's the interview queen Alicia Atu right here on your screen to let you know to check out Warriors of Wrestling. And while you're at it, why not like, hit the notification bell, and subscribe because they drop amazing content all the time. Until next time. This will be contested for the Warriors of Wrestling No Limit Championship. Which means there are no countouts, no disqualifications, the ropes can be used for leverage at any time, there must be a winner. We don't have a referee, you. We've got better than a referee. We've got a special guest referee. Ladies and gentlemen, the father of Warriors of Wrestling, Head Honcho, the boss man, gone in the stripes today. Gonna call this one right down the middle, right, Kimmy? Oh, of course. Joey B takes no fool. He will definitely be calling this down the middle. He is not playing any favorites. I can assure you of that. Paris, one of all best ring announcers in the business, always giving us that white glove treatment. About to make the announcement. There's no limits. Now we talk about Bellini being impartial, but we know Bellini has a history with this man, Tony Page. And quite frankly, I feel he's been given Page quite a few opportunities as of late. I definitely think he has. You know, this is not the first time we have seen Page and Dexter Obsidian. And to be fair, do you really think Page deserves his second match? I don't think so, but here we are anyway, you know, Joey B's in charge. We follow him. It's his world, we're just living in it. Good assist with the fans, happy to see Paige back here at Warriors of Wrestling. Here in Brooklyn, what a moment it could be for Tony Paige to walk out, possibly the new Warriors No Limit Champion. The first he has to be the insidious obsidian himself. Oh, Warriors a three-time number champion. Very confident, people are very confident. And lucky to get this opportunity. I, I believe what you're saying, good sister. No disrespect to Paige, but sometimes it's who you know. Sometimes it's those relationships you have behind the curtain. But Paige, no slash putting in the hard work. Certainly deserving of an opportunity here against this man. Dexter. The three-time Olympic champion himself. Who's had some history with Joe Bellini? You know, he shoved rice and beans in his face in the parking lot in training. So, I don't know why Dexter's doing this whole thing, but shoving beans and rice in the ball his face maybe isn't the best move as an employee. I don't know. Of course, flanked by his cronies who, let's be real, have been very pivotal in his career. Very, very important to a lot of recent wins in Dexter's career. Dexter looking to retain here as he holds his Warriors of Wrestling No Limits Championship up high. And we know, Kimmy, the rules are just a little bit different in a No Limits match. Well, that's why it's called No Limits, because the rules are very, very different. I just see them just getting in the face of each other. They've been waiting for this match for a while, and so has a special guest referee, Joe Tell them, Joe! You right now? Uh, he looking like he's all business, trying to handle business right now. Right now, talking to Ad Magnus and Atticus, making sure to keep things in line. I think that's a great, great move here. As the Ferris one of all, brings us our formal introductions. He don't need no mic.
Cage, whatever you want to call him here tonight, will we call him No Limits Champion? It almost got, wow, I'm sitting and having some words here. We're about to start this match, and you could barely hear the Ferris Wheelball make those amazing announcements because the crowd loudly booing Dexter and Foley. I mean, like I was saying before, there's been some interesting development in Dexter's career as of late. So, no wonder the crowd's booing. I see Joe Bellini holding up the No Limit Championship. It's our special guest referee here. Great for the introductions again. One of the best to ever do it here in the Independence by Shane. There, he don't need no darn mic. Great introduction. But now the bell is ringing. We are underway. And Obsidian going for that high booty bell. We're going to end this one really quickly. Good assist her. Big tornado DDT. He just wants to get out of here and go home. And I don't. I think that was a fair cadence by Benini. I hate to be evaluating his officiating, but he does run the plays. We're going to call it right down the middle. Well, Dexter doesn't seem to like it, that's for damn sure. But for you to question Joe, how dare you? How dare you? Looks like, you know, the man I question right now is Dexter City. It looks like he's directing traffic for the rebellion, and he has always got an insurance policy or two up his sleeve as he brings a steel chair into play. Perfectly legal in this match. Yes, it definitely is. And like I said, Dexter just wants to end this one quick. He wants to go home, and he wants to retain his No Limits Championship, and he will do anything to make sure that he retains that title. Tony Page head first into that chair. Obsidian, what? Going to the outside, maybe looking for a springboard, maybe looking for the top rope. He's called for it. Looks like a springboard here off the top rope. He gets the chair thrown at him, hitting his legs. That could be a game changer, Kimmy. It definitely can. You know, those chairs are not the easiest thing to get thrown at you, and especially with your knees when you're running around. It's not the best strategy here. But I give it to Paige. That was a pretty smart thing for him to do. It also gives Paige time to rally, get this crowd behind him, catch his breath as he's going high risk here. Suicide dive, no one home. And now Paige in a bad way, surrounded by Obsidian and the Rebellion. This is not smart for Cage. He has to get out of that corner and just focus on Obsidian. Not focus on the Rebellion, but just Obsidian and the main goal of him winning the Nova Championship. All right, and I'll give Bellini this. He's going to the outside with the competitor. Stellar officiating thus far as Cage had getting slammed in that steel barrier. He's just using anything he can find at this point. And luckily, in the limit time, you're allowed to do that. Bouncing off that steel pole here. Onto the apron, just dropping on him. And as you know, at the softest part of the ring, I don't think so. No, I'm pretty sure everyone has said that it's the hardest part of the ring. I've heard it once or twice, and i got to give Bellini credit. Good cadence on that count. Obsidian clearly disagreeing with me, though. No, Obsidian definitely wants Joe to count a little bit faster. But clearly, anything Joe does is never good for Obsidian. So are you really surprised that the two of them are already fighting just a couple minutes into this match? Having some words, definitely. Can. I'll give credit where credit's due. Obsidian, who's got chopped in the chest. Here's the chest. Pops here from Pain. Well, I want to say it's a ring champion, but arguably one of the best No Limits Championship. What a three-time No Limits Champion. Right now, almost retaining right here. Now, the one thing that Dexter has to do is focus on Paige. He cannot focus on his disagreements with Bellini. He has to focus on keeping Paige down to see just the continuous strikes that he's delivering to Paige right now. Bad way, right in the middle of the ring. All away from the ropes. Look how happy Dexter is. Haunting the fans right now, knowing that he's putting men in his corner. I think he thinks he has this one unlocked him. Paige has had little to no offense in this matchup. I mean, if you were Dexter, wouldn't you be excited? He has full control. Honestly, if I was Paige, I would have had some friends come out with me for this one. The odds here as Obsidian off the top rope for a splash. No one home. Paige 
getting out of the way here. And a big back elbow by Tony Page. Page is trying to get his momentum underway because it's all about the no, that no limits champion, and he definitely wants to bring that goal. Finds here by Page who's heating up, taking down deep. Four chops and a lumberjack convention, a big right forearm. Came off the ropes here. The big section by City blocked and a, just a straight up right hand. Page off the ropes and a step up into Still going, Kenny had a headbutt from Page. What a series! Both men are down. Well, Page definitely is trying to get his momentum, and the crowd is definitely on his side. But Page has to get up quickly and try to get Dex down for that three count. But it looks like the Rebellion is already giving Joe a hard time. Are we shocked? That's it, Kitty. You beat me to the punch here. No pun intended right now. Bellini having some words with the Rebellion. And I got to give Bellini credit. I have been very critical of the official Warriors at times. That being said, Bellini did a great job in this matchup. And you know we're at Warriors because you know why? We got to keep the box boring. That's 100% correct, Kitty. Page getting thrown into that corner. He's showing some signs of wear. In the matchup, Page thinking of the earlier punishment, but now strike the back and a backstabber on Obsidian. You got all that one, Kimmy. Page has to try to make a cover here as he's slowly making his way. Gotta admire the pizza box shot for good measure for the cover. Hey, us New Yorkers love our pizza. We like to brag about it. You in New Jersey, you like to think that you have the better pizza, but no, it's all about New York pizza. And us at Warriors, we like to represent that. We have the better pizza than you, Rob. I'm sorry. New York pizza versus New Jersey pizza. Hashtag fight forever. And I'm hoping these two fight forever. Page Obsidian, No Limits Championship. And Page looking to put this one away. Maybe a cutter here. No. Here, a forearm here by Page. New Obsidian, what's he looking for? Great up right now for the, now, the, now, the one thing that you can. Oh, I hate to cut you off, but it's. Oh. Yeah, I hate to cut you off, but Bellini is just getting beaten down by the Rebellion here. Can't say I'm surprised. Obsidian match, I can't say I'm surprised. Bellini taking a heck of a beating. He definitely is, and that's the risk he signed up for when he chose to be the referee for this matchup. Is he knew the rebellion was going to be with Dexter, and he knew there was a chance that he could get beat up. Fair, fair very fair point, Kim. He knew what he signed up for, especially in a low limits match where a lot of this stuff is is legal in, in a match of this sort. I see a new official in the ring now. Make looking to get the win here. Got all that jumping cut. This could be it for Tony Page. One, two, and Page kicks out. I thought that was it. Page definitely has worked the fight to Warriors over recent months, and that's the one thing that you can talk about. But as you see, Rebellion just not having that officiating either because now they are beating up a second referee. So I have two questions. What do the Rebellion have against Zebras, and how is Obsidian going to win this match if there's no one to count to three? Well, you see Joe Bellini making their way. Big stutter by Bellini and a stronger one. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, Kimmy. You get in there, you handle business yourself, you get your hands dirty. I can guess Joe's not about rebellion. I guess he's against that, as you can see. The authority of Warriors of Wrestling standing nose to nose with the Nolan Fitz champion who just looked at Bellini up. But no, Page going for the roll up here. One, two, not enough. Now, Dexter has to be careful because now that that other referee got beat up, I don't think he should be beating up Joe or staying on them any more words there. This Page is might change up, go for that tornado DDT Page. Barely getting out of the big running spear by Page. Page definitely feeling it now. The Canadian Destroyer all the way around that. One, two, three, hashtag and two. The rebellion wasn't enough, the refs weren't enough. It seems as if Warriors has it. Warriors of Wrestling, no Warriors Champion, There's a new face to the No Limits, and that seems to be Anthony Page. We thought, you know, maybe a little bit of that, maybe a little bit of 
friends. But that being said, I'm not against what Queen did here today. Exo Obsidian coming in with the Rebellion, trying to play that numbers game. What did Bellini do? After getting attacked by the Rebellion, goes in, handles business, and I will say, called it right down the middle, that kick is on that count. For our new Warriors of Wrestling No Limits Champion, for Anthony Cage. Although the numbers weren't against him, he definitely found his way. Look at the emotion here. Elation, I think Henry Page has got something to say. Let's take a listen. Listen to this crowd. Looks like they're excited for their new champ. All I want to say is a huge thank you to Joey B, to Chris Steeler, to Darius Carter. I'm doing this here, my brother, looking for me from the heavens, Frankie Getz. And my beautiful grandmother, who's also looking at me from the heavens. Without you fans, without you people here, there would be no me, and there would be no Warriors. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my shout out Grandma Paige. He's definitely very excited to be the brand new Warriors of Wrestling Golovich champion. You love to see it. Sometimes a guy like Dexter Obsidian, I hate to say, you know, partial year, Jimmy. Sometimes a guy like Obsidian who kind of shifts the odds, always an insurance policy up the scene. Sometimes it just feels right to see a guy like that lose this title. Hey, Aplaya, this is The Josh Speaks, and you're watching Warriors of Wrestling, the best independent wrestling company across the entire country. So hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell so you can know whenever they post a new wrestling video. As always, love and peace.